More on this, Dr. Tana Demirer is a professor at Ankara University School of Medicine and he joins us now for more on this. First of all, your reaction to this headline, because it is quite shocking and could be misunderstood. What is the science behind this? Yes, uh, I agree with you. Uh, it's quite shocking. And I have to say that the smoking kills uh, 8 million people every year in the world. And also smoking is a number one cause of the lung cancer. So smoking is damaging the alveoli cell line uh, in smokers. So these people have underlying chronic lung disease like COPD. And also most of the smokers have poor pulmonary function. So uh, most of the observation which were done in China, uh, North America and Europe showed that uh, smokers are having really bad cytokine storm in the intensive care unit and uh, uh, with COVID disease. And the uh, uh, death rates of the smokers in the ICU are 13 to 14 times higher than uh, non-smokers. So this is very important observation. Therefore, I am very cautious about the Chinese and French observation saying that uh, uh, patients who are uh, admitted to uh, hospital and ICU 45% compared to people who are released to home. Uh, okay. The rate is uh, 25 to 30%. So this is a very tricky issue. Uh, so I am very cautious about this uh, French study. There are a couple of problems with this study. Uh, I have to say, uh, number one is uh, uh, a cigarette uh, contains not only nicotine, but also contains more than 22 harmful chemicals. Uh, number one uh, confounding variable. Number two is the age adjustment is really important. You are just comparing here uh, people who are admitted to hospital in the Europe. Uh, in fact, the median age of those people are 62. And the people are released to home. The median age is just uh, okay. 30 to Dr. 50 Tana, years old. I, I, so you cannot compare I want to interrupt. And, and uh, just for the yeah. sake of clarity, because the, there could be a lot of confusion with the, this study and this headline, um, what are the risks of smoking given that the coronavirus attacks the lungs? Well, the most important thing is here, most of the smokers are having chronic lung disease, underlying lung disease, especially chronic smokers. Uh, we are calling a chronic obstructive pulmonary, pulmonary disease, which is COPD. And uh, most of them have poor pulmonary functions. And therefore, uh, we know that uh, COVID-19 is causing uh, a really uh, bad cytokine storm and uh, lung damages in patients who are smokers. So the death rate is going up in patients uh, who are smokers, especially chronic smokers. Therefore, uh, smoking is a re really big risk factor. And uh, this kind of suggestions and studies may mislead people. Uh, for me, it's quite shocking. I think somehow World Health Organization has to interfere with these kind of studies because uh, these uh, studies are problematic and you cannot get any positive results and, uh, and I, I have to say that this kind of study has to be done uh, people who are smokers and more than 60 years old who are admitted to ICU. So you have to make a comparison, smokers versus non-smokers, but more than 60 years old. Okay. But you cannot compare different age groups. So this is not acceptable in the epidemiology and statistical wise. All right, Dr. Tana Demirer, really appreciate your insight. Thank you so much.